Yo guys, what's happening? Welcome back to another video. First off, I want to talk, uh, before we get into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has um, sent me loads of kind of messages about um, the Suicide Be Here Tomorrow video, which was released today, but it was filmed yesterday. But yeah, thank you. For the support, some of the messages I've been getting are absolutely brilliant, so thank you so much. Um, but yeah, today we're here for a maze review. Today we are doing a maze review of the brand new family maze which debuted at Chessington Halloween this year, also known as Spiders with the tagline Untangle the Web of Lies. Now, if you don't know about Spiders, it's new for this year, it replaced Cast of the Lost Tomb in uh, well in the Wild Asia part of the park. Personally, Cast of the Lost Tomb was good last year. Uh, I only got to experience it last year, so I got to experience it in its final year. But yeah, Spiders has come in and it's replaced it. It's a two bat rating out of three. Uh, yeah, so the backstory. As far as it is, with eight legs and eight eyes, he is going to take the stealthiest of spies to surpass these spiders. However, always not as it seems. Can you untangle the web of lies? So, let's talk about where the queue line are theming. There's some queue line entrance theming, and there's some theming around the building on the outside, but apart from that, it's not massive theming because it's literally in the middle of an area. And you've got bloody Cobra behind it making all the noise, so you can't hear the soundtrack. Uh, and you go into the pre-show. The theming in here is really good. For maze, very temporary, which is in like a... Which is normally in a restaurant, it's quite, quite well themed. Um, but yeah, you go in and you meet someone who works for the SAS, the Secret Arachnid Service. Not the actual SAS. Um, yeah, and he tells you about how spiders have been around the manor and how they, they've had a bit of a problem where one of their um, spy, uh, like members of staff had been, and it's gone missing, and you have to try and work out a clue because it's Queen Spider who's taken her, um, taking him or her. And then after that, you push through some doors, you go down some corridors, and for family attraction, it, the theme is really good. Um, some of you who's gone through, you might notice there's like a clock as soon as you go in. That clock is actually from Hocus Pocus Hall. Um, I got told there's a lot of stuff from like Curse of the Lost Tombs and Hocus Pocus Hall in that, in that maze. So it's really a bit of a reuse of previous props. If you know what I mean. Um, and then my personal favourite sort of scare at that first half, it's a family attraction but it's got a few scares for the older ones. Um, if you start going down this corridor and there's like a bright red light at the end and you get to the end of the corridor and the actor actually opens the door and shouts at you from the back. So if you're at the front of the room, you go all the way down and you get a good little jump scare, it's not bad. And you go into the library most of these scenes are about two to three minutes long, so it's not a long like, scene you're in. Um, one of you get put in a chair, and you have to read uh, this, these words from a book, uh, but the words are actually backwards. So, yeah, then you get another part of the code. Then you go through, now this is one of my only pet peeves about spiders, is there's a lot of black walls and corridors. Especially in this next bit where you're walking down the corridor and uh, it's just black walls. They've had a problem, uh, they haven't been able to trap the light in. So if you do it during the day, it does ruin the atmosphere in a way. Um, but then a funny little thing is there's a little scare there where um, uh, there's an, I don't know if it's a staff member, I take it it's an actor in like full black and they hide in the corner and jump out it's quite funny if you're at the back of the group you don't get that scare because they tend to go from the middle of the group if you go into like this 
bathroom, where you have to find a spider. Uh, like the acting team in this maze is brilliant. They really are, the actors are amazing in this maze. Um, and there's some good lighting effects, sound effects, all sorts. And then after that you go along the corridor and you meet a spider called Bobby. I think it's Bobby. Mix of Dobby and Bobby. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, and he makes a deal with you that if, if he helps you, you help him. And he knows that the SAS are bad. And then you go into an elevator, which reminded me a lot about the London Dungeon. Because obviously you have a thing called Descent. Now you go in, the door's shut, and audio starts playing, there's lights coming out through the walls, and it vibrates. The floor vibrates. It's interesting the way the floor vibrates. Because uh, it's actually speakers on the floor, but they've taken a bit that makes a lot of sound out, so it's vibrating, it's good. Then you go into a wine cellar where there's some UV effects, and quite interestingly, there's like a, for the little kids, there's like a crawl section where you have to go through all these webs, or the other one, you just go down a blank corridor. Um, then after that, you go through like a forest sort of thing, you go over a little bridge, which is on Curse of the Lost Tomb, and there's our eyes in the wall, and you continue going through. And then the ending, you go into a room and you meet the SAS agent who had been taken, and the spider who took him, or her. And the spider then slurps out the brain, and it's quite interesting because the room goes dark as it happens. Uh, and then the end, it all ends when the spider pretty much farts. And, um, Obviously, smoke goes out and you're told to get out. The ending feels a bit anticlimactic, really. Um, you just go out of that scene and you just walk down some corridors and push over some fire exit doors. So, yeah, one thing about spiders is yes, it's a family attraction, but that ending, it's like, what is it? It left me a bit over underwhelmed. Overwhelmed, underwhelmed? I think it's underwhelmed. Because they were saying this was, like, it was. Yeah, either way, it was a good attraction. Um, do I think it's going to come back next year? I think it will. I think the amount of work they've done, considering they've saved stuff from August Vegas Hall, just for this May, shows there's a bit of dedication in it. But yeah, um, out of 10, what would I rate Freeman? Six and a half. I think it's all right. Uh, and actors, uh, actors in there, right, yeah, they, they, they were good. Overall experience, out of 20, well, yeah, it's, it is a good attraction. I only got one run through on it, I waited about nearly two hours for it. Was it worth two hours? No, well, not worth it. Now the main reason I waited two hours is because I had a technical issue, so it broke, uh, it went down. There was some queue line entertainment, but then the actress went away and she never came back. So it's like, hmm. But yeah, obviously the event has finished and spiders, we don't know if it's going to return next year, but yeah. Anyway, please comment down below in the, in the comments what your thoughts on spiders was. I personally think it was good. I'd like to see um, a lot of updates to it next year. I'd like to see a lot done to it. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I won't be doing a review on Trick or Treat Wood because I didn't get to experience it this year. Uh, I didn't particularly like it last year. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.